Hello world, g'day, g'day, g'day. <clears throat> welcome to Africa, welcome to Nigeria. Again, Let's see if that music will slow down. A little lower there, thank you. Let's get our sim in. Oh, that was a bit loud. Ah, I noticed it was actually up quite high. All right, uh, morning, a uh, morning and evening. So Vruden, <laughs> he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to convert the plane with me. That's all right, mate. Um, you got a pretty fast one. I might even let you take off first. Oh wait, you disappeared. You were parked over here for the last ten minutes with me. We've got Stu, little rapier. Look, um, if you go the uh, plane you were using, um, I'll give you a head start. That's fine. Gonna have lots of little short hops today, I think. Except the first one, maybe the last one. Uh, g'day, Stu. Welcome, Luke. He says, Welcome to everybody else. I've ridden the great. Hi, Hostad. Zanny, your mate. Look at my meteor. Thank you. Now, whoop, 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 hang on, I got the camera going really well. Um, Zanny and I have been working on getting the textures working right for this. So, I've also, I've uh, worked out how to get the canopy to open like that um, and we got rid of the white uh, lines in here thanks to Zanny we worked out what things were missing and we're probably going to repair a lot of aircraft that had texture missing Let's see if we turn that down Rev are you on discord no I'm not talking in discord anymore um, I'm gonna leave it here so you guys can chat to me online um, but you guys can jump into a channel or chat together if you like, that's fine. G'day Stu, g'day Zanny, yep, oh, Leonard Rapier, hello uh, from Half Lockdown South, I know, I heard that today. Uh, but not officially called a lockdown. So it's a, an official stay at home order, is it? For only some part. Alright Rev. Yeah, you guys can... Oh, I think I just hit my trim. Look at that. I just made it go way up. All right. I'm also thinking leaded rapier. Um, I'm probably going to be traveling at about twice the speed as that caravan. So you might have a little trouble. All right. Let's have a look at... Uh, if you've got the flight plan, it's on announcements. D-N-E-K. If you want to be able to head there down to F-G-S-L, which is part of the... Uh, what is it called? Equatorial Guinea, and then back over to. Oh, I'm gonna have to get another map up. Cameroon, I think it's called. Nah, I still can still go out, but <laughs> uh, close all non-essential retail. He says, "All oh, right, that kind of sucks." All right, if you guys can just give me a heads up if my music gets too high. My speed's about 400 knots in this thing. Um, I can slow down though. I can do say 350. Uh, I noticed uh, Rudin must have gone out for a cigarette. 
he's disappeared. He was over there by the uh, warehouse. Uh, or he's gone shopping for a faster plane, I'm not sure. Doesn't have to get the 747 uh, though. Oh, something this is my new music as well. That's weird music. Um, let me know if I'm too dark as well. I do have a light here I can use to uh, light things up. Uh, Rev says, so I am uh, going back on Saturday and I've decided that I will reinstall X-Plane and do more of X-Plane 11 than FS 2020 because I want more realistic flight model and planes. Okay. If you think X-Plane 11 got them, go for it. Um, I wonder what will happen though after the 27th. See how, uh, were they put in a new, uh, like accelerator pack for the, uh, uh, what's it called? FSX had the accelerator pack, maybe. All right, let's get inside. Now, having cleaned up some of the um, textures, we now, instead of just white, we've got some metal colors, which is very good. And I'm gonna get this thing started. I don't remember my pump's going. 777 is out. Oh, another one? Is that the PMDG one? Yeah, none of it all makes sense because uh, they open hardware as essential. Can't eat in Indian, I think it is, only outside, but we got crap weather this week. Can't, uh, can't play sports, but AFL allowed to train. Because they got money. Oh, well, hang on, I gotta get both of these to go. Got it. Okay. I think I got both of those. Okay. Now, with the canopy, I've set it up so that uh, through Model Converter X. Uh, oh, I just need to check to make sure that my stream's going to have enough data. Yeah, it seems to be. Uh, yeah, the 27th changes uh, at all. Yeah, it does. Um, is out MS oh in the Microsoft Flight Sim store. I bet they raced that to get it before Xbox came out. So I can't drive out onto the runway with my canopy open. So I'll just put the foot brake. Close that, thank you. I didn't uh, so Zanny, if you are still watching, I didn't uh, re-import it to put um, to put the outside gauges on. I, I've, I forgot to do that actually. Whoa! <laughs> We've got something big. Who's that? I'm going to wait till my screen. Hot Rod! What are you in, Luke, that I do not have? Like, I've got a T-45 over there. I know, you can get going if you like. Is that the A-10 again? And why do I not see it? Is it a different A-10? Why, like, where are you going? Oh, I really don't think we're linked together. I don't know what airport you're going on. I think you just hit a building. <laughs> Still here. Yeah, I didn't do my extra uh, stuff with any. I, um, I forgot all about it. Uh, I think I've got enough to take off here. So rather than getting my way all the way down the end, I uh, sent you what they came up with in Discord when you get a chance to, uh, you can see what I mean. Yeah, okay. Alright. So I have done some improvements on this particular uh, aircraft. Um, with Zanny's help, Zanny and I were 
chatting and um, <clears throat> sorry, that's my park break now. Uh, chatting and, and talking about what needed to be done, and we put a little bit more gloss on the windshield, but we also uh, got rid of the white textures that were in here and made them metal textures, uh, which is awesome. Okay, Stu's going for it. Pleasure Rapier. I'll let you go first because I will be up like a bat out of you know where. Oh man, got an itchy nose. Alright, <clears throat> looks like the internet's just having a little bit of a, a hissy fit. If it continues, I will jump onto mobile data promptly. Let me know if it starts uh, lagging again. Alright. Take one level flaps, thank you. Looks like we've got a GA Cessna coming out onto the runway. Are you kidding? Serious? Hello? I'm on the airport. On the runway. Why do I have a marker there? I had markers turned off. Alright, we are up. Gear up, thank you. Yep, flaps up. Thank you. I don't know why I have a marker there. I have them turned off. Unless I bump something. That happens. Alright, 400 knots. I probably should slow down already. Okay. Can we look over our shoulder? Yeah, we can. There we go. Alright, you guys have done a loop. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll back off. We're about 50% throttle. And our first direction will be... I'm sure you clicked on your uh, screen here, Brett. 105. I went around a 105, thank you. Let's do the autopilot. Let's do the hold. Altitude, three green will be good. It's slowly coming around, but I don't think that held altitude. Oh, I didn't turn off water, I did I? No, no, I think the autopilot is working. But it's not holding altitude right. I don't know why I've got a marker there as well. Microsoft flights in sometimes, I, I, I can't explain it. And then I have backed off, we'll do one to find a fraction. <clears throat> Need to change, uh, you're still too quick. Uh, I have slowed down to 278. Uh, once I get my cruise working, for some reason I can't seem to get autopilot to sit so I can show off the plane, but um... Oh, did I not do my barometric pressure? No, no. Yeah, it looks like my autopilot has gone off. Oh, that sucks. I like using that to uh, show off and have a look around in Africa while we're here. You know, at least hold a thousand for me, please. And you're not holding direction either. All right, manual today. No autopilot. Uh, internet is. Oh, it's juggling borderline. Keeping uh, me there. So sorry if I'm. Uh, Shutting out a bit. But definitely descending there. Eh? Can I have 
5,000 please. Can't turn my autopilot on. No. Okay, so when I redid the uh, JSON file, I'm thinking it turned off um, autopilot. Oh, well, you rebuild a plane, you paint it, <coughs> you get your textures working. The only thing I haven't got yet is heat blur coming out of each of these, and uh, there might be a couple of inside textures that are a little too white. I don't know whether these are meant to be white or they're silver. I think they're at, they are actually silver now because these were just plain white. And we haven't got the RPM working on these gauges yet. It's true buzzing by. I am actually going a little too slow here. Yeah, what a shame. Oh, okay, so my stream is suffering. Is that right? I am. What I'll do is I'll just get myself on uh, level flight here as best I can with trim. Yeah, I think we're, we're, we're suffering a little bit of internet issues, so I might do a quick uh, mobile hotspot. No autopilot, because I went and worked on the plane over the last few days. That. Is that someone? Parallel plane. What are you doing? You're using SLU. Yeah. That sounds terrible. And I got a marker there. So I've got no autopilot. And I've got a marker. I'm still climbing. Can we fly level, please? All right. How's that internet going? Uh, at the moment it seems like it's surviving. But if it mucks up again, I'll jump onto the... Um, oh, somebody's plane is not sounding right. Parallel plane, what's going on with that? I bought that wasn't slew. It was just uh, legacy flight mode breaking. Oh, right. 2,230 knots. I hate it when that happens. Oh, come to think of it. I don't think this plane should be on modern. It should actually be on legacy because it's a FSX. That might be why I can't autopilot. No, that hasn't done it. Sorry if my plane is destroying your hearing. Yeah. We might just have to fix that. There we go. I have gone way off line here. So let me show you guys where I am actually. So for some reason we're getting the flight team mucked up quite a lot. So we are flying to Eket, which is D-N-E-K. But for some reason I'm getting this marker there. And I've got all markers turned off. 100% all markers turned off. I don't know. I despawned, you should be good now. I, yeah, I changed the whole um, sound file there. 
So it looks like I'm going to be 100% um, manual. Yeah, there's a little rapier. He's right above me. Now, is this water or is this... So, no, it's water. Okay. Very green water. Very square edge too. I kind of thought for a moment it was a satellite picture that didn't work. Maybe it is. Maybe whatever's under there is government military base. Because look, there's roads that go in and out. It's actually been greyed out. Holy smiley, look at that, eh? That's a whole section that's been uh, omitted. Except this green bit here in the middle. Oh, I'm still climbing. Why are you climbing? Alright. Should be coming up for a uh, runway here. I don't know if it's an actual runway or dirt uh, strip. But we'll do some... Um, did you get tired of the Shackleton? I figured I could travel more distance. I may return to the Shackleton. Uh, there we go. I can see something there. Uh, unfortunately, a hot rod or loop and myself are not in the right sync of um, internet. Some more sound back on. There we go. Once I get my microphone out of the way. I have a lot more trouble with the internet in the uh, shed. I wonder if it doesn't like my uh, insulation for the Wi-Fi. I cannot see this one way. I don't know it's right in front of me there somewhere. And maybe if I touch down on this uh, marker that for some magic reason has decided to uh, pop up on the uh, screen will disappear. Anybody seen a runway? Sometimes that's uh, the benefit of having a plane with auto-navigate and stuff. You got it? Parallel planes are looking for it. stuck on hot rod, okay. Let's give this a bit of a push. That must be it long lengthways there in front of me, right? Yep. Came in too low, didn't I? Alright, so it wasn't a very long uh, jump between one and the, uh, this point and the next. There will actually be a few um, small points that we'll jump in between. Let's see if we can do a uh, full turn here, not drop out of the sky. Bring it down, thank you. Oh, no, it's not the way to look. Track IR would be good there. Oh man, where is this one way? I've gone right around, that's why. Right. My turn was not sharp enough. Ooh, a bunch of trees here too.
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Unparalleled planes just bounced on the tree. Oh, that's pretty low. Another shadow of something above coming in. Oh man, those air brakes uh, dropped me down. Touch and go. Thank you, I'll take that. Try not to hit the uh, plane there. Very cool, thank you. And we got rid of the uh, marker point. All right, and Zanny's in. Worst landing in history. Worst approach. Uh, for you, not a very good approach for me either. Um, we still got it down though. All right, so uh, FGSL is Malibu 142. So this one will actually take us out over the water. What I'll do, can I get? Any autopilot at all, please. No, we have killed it completely. Yeah, I had it all set up nicely before we fiddled around with the um, painting of this, but all right. It happens. We now have uh, engines are no longer just white, which is pretty cool. We have zero autopilot. All right. You guys touch and go there. Now, I can see mountains ahead. So, I'm going to give it a push. I'm still trying for that autopilot, but it's not giving it to me. Just to trim myself. We get a couple more frame hits there, do you think? Alright, I might just slow down. I am doing 500 knots. Not, good, not all that fair to you guys who can't do it. But wow, look at this. We cannot, for the life of myself, hold autopilot. So if I'm not using this plane, uh, I don't know if Bruden is uh, still watching, what would you prefer to see? Get back to the Shackleton? Because I might do that for a couple of them. I might use this one for the next flight as well because I do have a thumbnail already made with this one and the distance, uh, knowing that I can actually get a bit of a flight. Also let you know where we're going, we are actually heading out to this island. So it's technically not running around the coast and down. I think I'll go and check it out. Which, uh, what I might do, I might actually find out what it's called. Which I won't download that, I'll just go to maps. Gulf of Guinea. O B I O K O. Is that a 
mountain? I think that's the mountain. I don't think the whole thing is called this, is it? Oh, maybe. Oh, we're still climbing. Serious? Trim. Somewhere in between there, thank you. Don't descend quite so quick. How's everybody else going? Cool. Uh, okay, so Malibu. Uh, let's click on it and see what it says. Equatorial Guinea. Uh, oh no, it is on Boiko Island. It's a port city. So Malibu, that's where we're heading. Is a... When we are climbing again, thank you. Don't do that. I'll use off and slow down even more. Um, Spanish colonial architecture uh, includes, oh wait, it is the actual capital of Equatorial Guinea. Um, colonial architecture includes the neo-Gothic twin towered Santa Isabella Cathedral. Uh, the Equatorian Culture Center is a gallery performance space. Yep, okay. Uh, South Densely Forest densely forested park of national park right so it's on a volcano as well cool all right what you would explain why are we descending again come on fly level i gotta fix this plane um unfortunately i did fix it good evening ladies and gentlemen this is your captain speaking as you can see on the left hand side we have a beautiful view of water Oh, we got somebody caught up. There we go. Are your wheels down? Oh, don't freeze and crash. Thank you. I bet you just raced past me, didn't you? Yep. Sorry, I, I froze there. All right, Zanny, are you also in the Meteor? And if you are, do you have your autopilot working? Or is it just me who lost it? Because what I need to do is go to my file. Where is it? It's not there. Oh, I moved it in there. Full stick tonight. Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm actually not full stick. Right, parallel planes. Your wheels are down. That's the G91, is it? Yeah. Looks like your wheels are down. I don't know if you're doing that just to uh, go slow enough. Dang, you look at the internet and you look at your uh, files and uh, almost crash it there. My AP works. Right, well mine's not, but I think there was also something wrong when I first came in because uh, I was getting some marker on the, um, the thing there. Oh, hang on, take that back off screen. But, you can have a look and see if AP's on. Dang, it's, it's all up or all down. Is that the problem with FSX planes at the moment? Microsoft Flight Sim has mucked it up. It was all good too though last week. Somewhere in between mate, somewhere in between. There's no no trim in this thing. Autopilot 1, yeah alright, so it should work, it's not working. Um, No autopilot on Crapstar bus. Well, you got no autopilot as well. Tempted to, um, yes, I'm 
12,000 feet now. Time to dive. Just lost to 5,000 feet. Very nice. But it looks like we've got some cliffs here, I'm guessing. No, not running it since uh, we know how to tweak it, remember? Yeah. Yeah, fly everything manual. Turn off all the garbage and just fly it. That works. I'm, I'm considering... Uh, Reloading in here. Because, um, no, I'm not going to do that. We can do two hours of manual flight. No problem. There's lots of nice little airports here. So I don't know if anybody looked at the, um, oh wow, are you kidding, internet? Alright, I'm going to land here and I'm going to jump onto mobile phone. Should have data available. Let's have a look. What's the date today? 19th. So 10 or 11 days to the end of the month. Much faster, 600 knots Airbus. Woohoo! Oh, I've got plenty of data. I haven't even used half my data. All right. What we'll do is we'll uh, we will we'll land here. One runway, yep, and I'll taxi out. And as I taxi down onto the um, apron there and uh, change my internet to make it a bit faster on mobile phone data. Alright, welcome to, what do we call this island again? Hour or something. I'll look it up in a moment. Right, I'm going in for a uh, interior landing here. Oh, who planted a tree right smack in the middle of the lights? Seriously? <laughs> Way to go. Push that a little bit harder to make sure I didn't drop too hard. There we go. Alright, we'll take some air brakes as well, thank you. Oh, that's a place to stop right there. And turn, no, we're going right down the end, okay. Somebody wasn't ready for that uh, exit. We can always take off uh, from this end, heading back out, I think. All right, let's go and park with that fuel truck. You know what, it's almost as part on the side of the road. No, nah, we'll go in. We'll go in. And I'm gonna change the internet so there will be a quick intermission So whoop, I was about to go that way. Very cool looking plane. Wow, that uh, jet star is coming in pretty quick there. Alright, 
right, I'm going to park there for a moment. We'll give that uh, airport is awesome um, place. It's actually pretty cool. So because the internet is uh, sucked a bit, give me a moment. Okay, so that will actually take a moment and uh, I'll have to click on and let's see what have we got, West USA, 1116 milliseconds, so everybody will pop back in hopefully in a moment. So, huh, alright, here we go, they're popping back in, oh look I've changed the internet so I don't have connection, so Zanny's in the same aircraft I am, and these guys are now gone to default, I hate it when it does that, Letter Raper is now in Qantas instead of uh, Jetstar, yeah, and what's that, AI, alright, so, what I might do, Give me a moment. Uh, internet's still complaining. No? Your name in Discord is uh, just Zanny, right? Oh, you two hours are talking, yep. I'm going to load back in. Get everything uh, connected again. Just give me a moment. Because I um, because I changed internet network uh, settings, so I've gone from one device completely to uh, sorry one uh, internet service to another. It has disconnected all those things, and I think it's going to stay that way. But since I also don't have my autopilot working. What I'm going to do is I'm going to load this in and I'll just catch up with you guys in a moment. So stay where you are. And I'm going to have to do this the speedy way.
Okay, I'm just gonna get myself back in here. I'm going to see if this works. Um, if you've only seen what I did outside there. Alright. I don't have a the park brake on. Okay, cool. Okay, Stu's come in. Hot rods in an F16. Parallel planes I cannot see yet. Is uh, probably pressed escape. No. Parallel planes, the only one I couldn't see there. What a shame. Zanny has come in and led the rape is in Jetstar. Alright, parallel planes, you're the only one I can't see. And I did have to move it over a fraction. But I have restarted my flight and what I had to do was actually uh, jump from one to the other. Ooh, Hello Beluga on PC. G'day, do you want to bring your Beluga for a flight? I do have it installed at the moment. Actually, I, I think I have two belugas. You probably keep up too. All right, you guys want to uh, wander down? Let's see if we move this VFR map over a bit. <laughs> SU57. Oh, is that what you've got? I've got an SU57. You can use that if you want. But if that's what you've got. Uh, like I've got all my planes installed uh, at the moment, so but I, I can't see yours. Oh, I'll go around. No, okay. I'm doing circles. Okay. Uh, let's follow the F-16. My Xbox Game Pass ran out, so I can't play now. Oh man, that sucks. Will you be getting or renewing it, or you just gotta wait? I guess that's the only downside of Xbox Game Pass is that it is a subscription. It's okay if you want to be able to play all those games. Uh, I'll reload and see if it works. Alright, mate. Do you have the yellow tail there, Zanny? Oh, can I not see Stu? Oh, no, there he is. Are you right here? Following Stu? Oh, I wonder what was shaking. I just moved the uh, Xbox controller and now it's rattling. So there are three liveries for this. Uh, it looks like Zanny and I have the same one. Okay. Or at least it shows up as the same one. Uh, I will wait till Christmas because I need a better CPU and or GPU. Okay. Fair enough. Um... There's always Xbox uh, if you're looking at getting one of those because obviously be out at the end of the month on Xbox. Well, we don't want the jet wash. All right, there goes the F-16. Now let's move this around. Thank you. 
Oh, F-16 doing a climb. Oh, dang, that's, that's a decent climb. All right, Stu, what can you do? What can you do, Stu? He's taking a long run off. All right, I think the F-16 ran out of pup for that turn there. Very nice. Oh. Parallel planes, oh man, what's wrong? I can't, I could see you before. Oh, I just went through someone. Oh, okay, you moved your plane. Alright, I'll take the uh, left side here, is any, if you want to take the right. And when you see me, uh, maybe when I put my spoilers up, that means I'm not just about to go. I'll power up with spoilers on and uh, foot brake, and then as soon as I release them, I'm going. Beluga on PC says, I don't know, because I want to uh, do streams uh, with the TCA officer pack. Airbus edition. Ah, oh, okay, yep. The only other option, I guess, is you can buy it outright and not have to worry about a monthly subscription. Alright, tell me if you can see my air brakes. You should be able to. Maybe put your air brakes on as well to let me know that you've, uh, you've heard me, Zanny. And then what we'll do is... Uh, as soon as I see yours on, I am going to power up and then get going. No, he can't hear me, so he's not listening. All right. Too late. Let's go. Oh, no flaps. I'll take one level of flaps then, thanks. We'll practice the next one. Oh, Parallel Plains is in the drink. You having a good swim down there on the beach? <laughs> that one didn't work then, I'm guessing. Uh, yes, I will ask for it at Christmas as well um, as a CPU. Yeah. Um, look, to be honest, even standard view, uh, standard edition, with the amount of... Um, new add-on planes that are coming out uh, for free. Uh, yeah, probably stand up. <coughs> I have premium. It does cost a fair chunk more. Um, no, all that autopilot's not doing it. I'd have to restart the whole sim if I'm going to get my autopilot to work. By the looks of it, it, it's refusing to. So even though I jumped out and chose the plane again, I think it's the sim mucking up. But at least my flight stick's not mucking up this time. So I'm guessing Vruden would prefer me to fly something a little slower. Sorry, mate. Um, oh, no. Oh, thought I had crashed a desktop there. Fly automatically, please. Let it ray up your AMD graphics. Uh, any good, Brett? Um, well, I'm not using AMD myself, uh, and with Bryce crashing the desktop all the time, I'm not going to trash them though. I've I've been with AMD before, and or actually, it was before AMD. It was um, who did they buy out? Uh, Oh, now I've gone blank on the uh, GPU manufacturer that AMD bought out. Um, but I used to use uh, one or the other. Uh, so I've gone between NVIDIA and... Um, it's not AMD. Who was it before that? 
uh, the opposition. Anyway, I've tried both. Um, depends on what you're using it for. They're both as much as muchness, depending on how much you're spending. Beluga one, uh, Beluga on PC says, I have a, a GoPro, so I'm thinking of using that as a side stick cam. Yeah, I've got one too. I've got a um, GoPro 5. You, from what I've seen, you've got to buy an, another addition to put in between your computer. ITA, yes. I've even got an ITA mug back there. ITA, Sue, thank you, mate. Trying to work out uh, what, what I want because uh, there's a nice AMD for $6.99. Um, yeah, what, which one? Because I, I, to be honest, I'd really be going to 6800 if you can get your hands on it. Even if it's not the XT. If you're going to be doing the flights in. Alright, I've got this fairly well level here. Can we actually use all that? Oh, no. I didn't even have my lights on, did I? I can't turn my lights on. Okay, keyboard's working. Uh, so there seems to be some hiccups tonight. I can't turn my lights on. I think some of my plane might have got a little bit of a mix up on it. Um, <clears throat> what are my graphic settings? So I do have them in the description of this video, at least I should should do. Um, I might turn the plane down. It's pretty loud. Get the uh, music going. I'm probably pretty loud too. Uh, so, I'm mostly on high. I, I started off on ultra, but every update has just made it, like, so much harder to... And that, and I've got 417 planes in as well. So, uh, global rendering is high. V-Sync is off. Render scaling 100. Um, TAA, anti-analyzing. Anti uh, all other settings, max or ultra, actually... Mm, that's not true anymore. I probably have to update this one. Maybe I didn't update this particular um, update. Most of them are on high, a couple on ultra. Um, that don't seem to, to make much difference. Um, my system still does alright. Tornado isn't showing up either. Sad. I think it's something the connection between you and I, iBot. Um, so that's a tornado. It's installed. I got everything installed. Loaded Raker says uh, MSI Radeon. Uh, okay, look, it's a 6700 XT with 12 gig of RAM. But that's still pretty good. And if you can get it for what is it? Oh, 799. Yeah. Yeah. Good card. Um, it's only if you're going against maybe the 2060 Ti. No, 2060. Oh, no. Uh, I'd be going for a 3060 Ti. Alright, so Hot Rod and Parallel Plane, I've lost both of you. So we're having bad connection on my mobile phone and stuff. Hmm. Let's turn that off, thank you. I'm getting bad frames. I'm looking at those Russian planes. Bad drains, bad, bad frames. See, I can see Stu fine. Out of my price range, any of the 30 series? Yeah. Tell you what though, um, China's cracking down on the, uh, the whole GPU um, Bitcoin market at the moment. So did Malaysia. I noticed that they ran over 1.6 million dollars worth of uh, 
computers that were used for Bitcoin mining. Um, there may be a full-on crash of uh, GPU prices. I have seen um, articles on that because uh, of such a huge crackdown and so many people not being able to use them in their different countries. Because all these countries, governments are like, we can't control the money that you're getting. Um, they also often steal power. Would a GTX 1650 and an i7 9700K run uh, in high settings? Hmm, yeah, actually, probably. A 9700, yeah, that should be fine. I've, well, is it a 1650 Ti? Because I've got that in my laptop. And I'll tell you what, 144 uh, megahertz Forza Horizon uh, 4 that I was playing while um, I was in my caravan. It was awesome. And it's got the uh, 1650 Ti in the laptop. Oh, I can't just run away, I know it's here somewhere. I'm currently pointing my... Whoa, is that it right there, the city? No, that's a couple of buildings, isn't it? Sammy's the only one following me. Where's everybody else? Hot Rod's over there. Pause from menu, I'm guessing. Uh, i tell you what, since playing Convoy is making it more frustrating that this multiplayer is a finicky. Oh, yeah, playing... Look, I'll tell you what, the ATS... Um, awesome you're happy with your 2080 ti oh, yeah i would be too i've got a 1080 ti and to be honest i am still quite happy with it like it's doing the job it's my internet speed that's the suffer how about this you almost run it down the highway and then into the runway take this one from outside. I think we'll do a little bit of a another touch and go here. People want to tell me how their fuel is going. Oh, oh it's gliding. Alright, I'm down. Zanny's down. Hot Rod's the only one. Oh no, there's the guys. Oh, they're buzzing over me, are they? Okay. back in the air, thank you. Um, Beluga says my granddad builds a PC so I want him to check on my other board to see if we can fit an i7-9700. Yeah, you'll have a um, certain uh, chip set, uh, so depending on how old your motherboard is, um, look, if, if your grandfather does it, awesome. Um, my dad used to build computers too, which is basically how I learned all mine. Um, Depends on what are you upgrading from though. So you've got a CPU on your computer already. What are you upgrading from? Um, it may not be the CPU that is uh, the holders. Are you joining JSAG on ETS after? Oh, is he playing that tonight? Uh, I want to. Um... I have no truck, I have no nothing to start with. I was going to do on the weekend, but I decided I really needed to, um, I really needed to make some videos, so I did. Uh, all right, we're doing a 169, uh, almost, got it there. Uh, you've only got an i5-2400. Um, yeah, I definitely get it checked to see whether your uh, motherboard can handle the 9700. 
um, your, your i5-2400 sounds like it's a little bit dated, but hey, so is mine. And mine's an i7-7700. Um, two hours, you believe. It, it'll go for two hours, or it's on in two hours, because uh, I haven't spent any time with my wife. She was away for the weekend. She's working now. I'm, uh, I'm streaming. That's going to, I'm going to get in trouble if I say I'm going to go race. Although, if she's going to bed, yeah, I might. Uh, you had a Mack truck. Yes, I have a Mack truck. The Anthem. Considering buying some others, too. Or something different. Alright, I'm cruising at 458 knots. Zanny's bringing it in very nicely. Uh, Beluga, where, where are you from, bro? Because you can get some nice 10th gen motherboards cheap. The motherboard is actually fairly cheap. It also depends on the other hardware you got. So what you could do is swap over your entire motherboard and CPU. Problem is though, you also need to find out if your RAM goes there. So what happens is it becomes a snowball. You can put old RAM on some motherboards. It just means it's not running at optimum speed and you can upgrade later. Um, Putting the, you know, getting a motherboard and CPU together might be a good thing. Putting just the CPU in uh, might be you kind of trying to uh, strap a turbo onto a non-turbo car and hoping it works. It, it might or it might not. MSI 410i Pro. Yep, Stu, uh, that was ATS, uh, he had the Mac. Yeah, yeah, in ATS I got the Mac. Um, in uh, ETS, so Euro Truck Simulator, I have nothing. I, I don't even have a shop. I have I did the, I tested it, and then I went and played ATS up to level 26 or 27 until we started multiplayer. You know, yeah. So I had a Mac in um, ATS, the Mac Anthem, loving it, it's pretty cool. Um, I have matching trailers as well with the same paint job. Um, but I went and bought a bunch more paint jobs and I haven't yet uh, painted them. So I might, when we come back for next multiplayer, they may actually be painted in different colors. Uh, so we'll see what we've got. Not sure what PC parts are like in the UK, but in Oz I pay 1200 for my build. For the whole thing, Cool. I paid a bit more, but I bought a top-of-the-line CPU at the time, top-of-the-line GPU at the time, uh, top-of-the-line hard drive at the time, and almost the top-of-the-line uh, memory, which uh, 32 gig uh, is still running pretty good. So I might minimise that so I get it off. Although, to that, to be honest, I'm streaming, I've got uh, chatbot things open, I've got music things open, and I am running at 91, I'm down to 80%. I was running at 99 for a second there, but it might have been while I was uh, minimising stuff. For both? No, for the whole thing, for the whole PC. Also need help uh, my cousin uh, find a good PC, as he wants to get MFS. Um... <clears throat> Look, I'd recommend Oz Flight Simmer's um, PC build place. Uh, if you go and look on his channel, he's sponsored by, or no, affiliated with, sorry, um, a PC place that builds um, flight sim rigs, so computers for flight sim. You've got a budget one or you've got a more um, top of the line, or you can customise. I looked at it and I went through what he's got and I thought, you know what, it's actually not too bad. Um, if you don't want to build the whole thing yourself uh, it, it is actually a good build you have to go and check out his um, channel for that though you got him on special $200 for 1650 super at the time yeah okay right, how are you guys going you know what I might do If I can't use my autopilot and chat to you guys, I'm going to get down on the beach and I'm going to go, go, go. Yeah, 
you have seen his PCs. Yeah, so there's different, there's a cheap build and a, and a more expensive build, and there's also the ability to customize. If your friend doesn't know where to get one from, and they deliver worldwide, I recommend them too. Um, I've built computers myself, all the way up to the last one, which you probably can see uh, just on the wall there. Oh, hang on, I've moved my, my light in the way. There we go, that green one there. Uh, that was a pre-built. Uh, I think that's it's the first pre-built brand new one I've bought. I've, I've bought some previous, um, like second-hand pre-builds uh, that somebody was getting rid of, and I'm like, yeah, I can use that. Um, I've been to auctions and bought uh, computers. Uh, like I, I got things like touch screens back when they weren't even nobody had them. I got basically Woolworths checkout touch screens and I uh, was planning to turn it into a jukebox. And I got old work office uh, Dell computers. <clears throat> Pretty useless, I don't think I'd go back to Dell pre-packaged office desktop for anything else. Um, they're not very uh, modifiable. Everybody else get down low, yep, except Let It Rave here. Well, I can't imagine Jetstar would want to be uh, 1,200 feet off the ground as they're coming in for landing. Where's that airport? It's over there. Holy schmoly, we're getting to 500 knots. There you go. I'm liking this plane. Doesn't uh, doesn't turn over. So so fast, but it is actually quite controllable. <laughs> Just imagine crash straight after that. Like hey, it's really controllable. Crash. All right, Alienware went downhill, didn't it? Um, I don't. I don't know. I think they got a little um, packaged. Um, and they were just trying to make money. Okay, this is a grass strip, and this is not loaded in. Dirt strip, yep, okay, thank you. I'm not stopping. But you guys can. Whoa, there we go. Someone didn't realise I was turning. Beluga! <coughs> hey, Oz! Okay, mate, I don't know if you your ears were burning and you heard what I was talking about or you just arrived. But either way, g'day. I'm looking for Shane's PCs. Uh, would a Ryzen 5 3600, good for MFS, uh, my cousin also wants to play Minecraft Java Edition, like what I was doing today on my stream. Um, those computers look good, yeah, 100%. Uh, and Java Edition, man, you could probably run that on a an old mobile phone. Uh, actually, no, you probably can't because it is a little bit too... Um, F18, I don't think anything you've got will load at the moment. And how are we going, Shane? We're just talking about your computers. Not just jumped in. So I was kind of actually recommending your PC company. I can't remember the name of it, but I told people just go to your um, go to your channel and, and check them out with the people you're affiliated with. Because uh, Beluga is trying to find out um, what a good computer for Microsoft Flight Sim was. I'm just saying I have actually been to the website after you guys um, recommended it and I thought it was actually not too bad. So depending on your budget, yeah. So what was the one you were asking there, Beluga? Um, you're flying aren't you Luke? Are you flying Luke? I don't know, if not, can you put in um, exclamation Oz? And then you guys can go and check out Oz Flight Simmer's channel. Apex, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, you can... Uh, I don't think a link will actually allow you... You can try it. Um, I think you have to put in, like, exclamation Oz. Um, and it'll uh, jump in there. Uh, they'll have your channel and uh, click on your links. Because I think I've got links uh, blocked... Um, other than admins, <clears throat> or you can put it on my Discord and we're going to land here with, uh, 
the next airport I will put it in myself. There we go, thanks Luke. So, flying 100% manual today because I've broken the autopilot on this. Um, yeah, I did. Uh, I, I did some work with Zanny, who is right behind me, is in the same plane. Oh, poor Parallel, I just can't get any of his stuff to show up. Um, tonight, where, since I changed the internet. Uh, we did some texture mods on this to get the white off of these things into silver and also the engine cowlings here uh, rather than white I fly straight um, we've done some paint job and all the white bits of trim that were in the flaps and also the uh, the air brakes uh, so we've been doing some work on it and somehow I killed my autopilot or my, my sims just mucked up because yeah when I first started uh, I had a marker point and I got all marker points turned off. Right now I have a feeling this is another dirt airport. I think there are two of them but I wanted to go down the coast as a waypoint. Some of those things are not loaded in. Uh, I'll get to the um, airport I don't have autopilot here. Shane, so hang on. Here we go. Apex. Oh. Copy. Thank you. Copy. And can I put it in here? Don't tell me. I'm. No, I'm not blocked. There you go. <clears throat> I'm not affiliated with them, but uh, Oz is, and he recommends them, and. Uh, being someone who has built computers for years, uh, I looked at them and I thought, you know what? Probably fairly well priced. I can't see the airport here. Um, and depending on what you actually want, oh, is it over there? Okay. Depending on what you want in your PC, um, I believe it is customizable as well. Monkey on controller, hello. That's my cousin. All right, cool. You sub. Thank you very much. Oh, did I miss the sub? Did that pop up on screen? I hope it did. If not, uh, oh, you've already subbed previously. Okay. Um, you can click on that Apex Gaming uh, link that I just popped in and go and check out those computers. They will deliver pretty much anywhere in the world, apparently. Uh, okay, so Oz says, I designed the PC range for Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 to give you a best bang for buck. Uh, they can be customized depending on your budget. Yep, any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I've been very happy partnering with them. Yeah, what's Fred said? <laughs> yeah, um, look, I know my computers. Um, like I said, the one here uh is the first computer that i have not custom built myself you know i'm gonna oh no we need to go across the water i was gonna follow that road but i think parallel planes are doing a good job doing that um this is the first computer i've not custom built myself uh because i looked at what was available at the time for the price and i figured you know what what's in this is pretty much everything i would put together and I'd be saving maybe a hundred bucks. Um, I can get it all put together now. I don't have to go and source it from maybe three different spots or places. Oz has probably done the same, but he's also worked out right. You're gonna need at least this, you're gonna need at least that, and that'll get your Microsoft flights in flying. When it comes to Minecraft though, Java edition, yeah, no problem. Um, if you can do flights in, flights in gonna be more taxing. Um, that being said though, I played Minecraft Java Edition today and I felt it a little bit uh, laggy moving around, so um, maybe they've added a whole bunch of extra stuff. Although I also had uh, a whole bunch of, um, what is it, texture pack, uh, a brand new one. May not be optimized 100%. I'm going a bit fast for you guys, aren't I? Sorry.
buy that now. Uh, it's cheaper to purchase pre-builds at the moment. Yeah, yeah, it is, uh, with the cost of PC parts. I was buying mine, though, um, years ago when things were rock bottom. So buying an i7-7700K, uh, that was the top chip at the time. Um, it's overclockable. Um, like, I'm watching it now. Okay, so it's sitting between 84 to 90%, um, but it clocks over to 3.4 something gigahertz. Um, you set up a creative or survival server on Minecraft. Yeah, as long as that server is not hosted on my PC, I bought. Um, what I'll probably do is multiplayer, but I'm probably going to do a couple of months, maybe a couple of months, worth of... Oh, there's the airport. Hello. Look at that. Oh, let's get there. We are struggling to load whatever it was that was meant to be loaded in there. I'm going to climb. Let's get away from this graphics. Yeah. Is the man cave heated? Yeah, I had to turn the heater down. Um, no, it's heated with, uh, with a heater that's in the background there. So... Let me see if I can get this plane to fly level for a moment. Where are we going? So, what was the last airport we just went to? FGRI, FGRI. So, we've done that, we've done that. We're now going to Corisco International Airport. Shrim, thank you. Uh, let me quickly put this on so you can see the man cave it's a bit of a mess at the moment but um my wife has pitched a tent so i do have lights off uh in there hello everyone uh so this is my man cave um as you can see uh my wife has got a tent there that she's drying out um i've moved some cupboards out of the way i'm going to rebuild cupboards or not rebuild buy new cupboards that um i can store different things like that lego head um but yeah, so uh, that heater that you can see down the bottom there, I think I turned it down to 18 degrees because it was too hot. Heated with a heater. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm actually kind of watching on eBay right now a, a diesel heater. Um, I could get a fireplace, but I, I've got one in the house. And that's kind of why I moved down for winter, uh, because the fire was running down in the house. And I, Forgot the fire, may as well leave that. Screw the game and keep the full screen. Yeah, I need what I need to do is put it, the little little one on the corner there, and uh, um, then you can uh, watch my plane just in the tiny bit, and I'll show you the man cave. Dreams crushed. <laughs> Sorry, came through after I'd already pressed the button. Yeah, I was thinking about doing a, um, a vlog series with the man cave. Um, at the moment, I've got a shelf above my my desk here that comes out 600 mil. My desk uh, that I'm planning on pulling apart and building a, a different one, because uh, this one's just a plywood temporary thing for me to work out how to do it, uh, comes out 800. So there's a 200 uh, difference there. I've got lighting hanging on the uh, ones above as well and uh, I do have let's see if we can put this on now I do have I did have this on earlier um, I have a light ring to light up my face so that you guys can actually see me awesome I'm getting the jet smoke all right so you are up high somewhere then are you that's not you where are you little rapier No, I can only see Stu and Parallel Planes at the moment. I oh, know, and Zenny's down on the coast again. Ah, oh, bring us back down the coast. 
Now we're going to go to a small island here. If anybody's seen the uh, seen the flight plan, we're actually going to be landing at full F double O L as one of the um, airports. But we're going to O C S first, and there's also an OR A W E. You're way up, right? Well, I can't see you way up there. Well, come to think of it, I've got clear sky. Tempted to try something different. See what live weather does. Is it going to kill us with uh, thunderstorms like it has before? Yeah, almost. A little white out. Not very cool when you don't have radar or the likes white yeah about the white stuff inside the cockpit you forgot to assign the texture to the interior oh that's why yeah okay so around the frame there i've got to go and do that as well yeah all right so zanny and i um very uh successfully modified the textures on a, a aircraft which we now know how to do it for probably i guess all the aircraft wouldn't it be zanny because they all have the same sort of deal and all we've got to do is uh, attach the texture so it actually works. I don't explain why that still looked very white down there. Yeah, alright. I will do that next too. You can see around the frame as well. So they're all up. Those things are white as well. Probably meant to be silver. All right, OCS, uh, ooh, I can't remember the name of OCS. What do we call that one? Cisco something rather? No, Corisco International Airport. And then we're going to Fool, and then we're going to Or, and then we're getting to our Fug. The only one I guess we're missing is Food. With a D for Delta. Your left. I cannot see you. Let it rape you. You must be so high up there. Oh, somebody's right above me. Are there Stu? Did I say Stu before? I think I could. What are you talking about, food? So, my cousin, uh, PC, he wants an Apex Gaming PC GPU is a. 1650 Ryzen 5 uh, 3600 RAM 16 gig 240 gigabyte uh, SSD yep okay power supply it's a 450 motherboard uh, and an ASRock uh, A320 motherboard HDV what's HDV on under cool let it rapier check your Discord. I can see my Discord, but I'm still on Shane's chat. Right, that's your uh, face masks, private gatherings, hospitality. Yeah, is that what you're talking about? Private message, or you're talking about eating my actual Discord? Screenshots? Yes, you're talking about screenshots. There he is. Setting up the vapor. All right. That's the wrong island. I thought that was the island I'm going to. Well, I wanted it out here. There we go. Yeah, yeah. If you're enjoying the channel, consider subscribing. Uh, press that like button. It all tell. Uh, YouTube that uh, people are interested in this maybe we'll get some more people to come along and thank you very much for the 11 people who are here with me right now um, I am using the Meteor the Gloucester Meteor uh, F Mark 8 uh, this is freeware FSX conversion so none of the interior is clickable uh, unfortunately but I might sit further back in my seat so I can see everything can see the runway already let's back that off I'll take some gear down thank you 
and I'll take one level of flaps we'll slow it right down is my mark meter not working now I can't be going that slow oh maybe it doesn't work under oh it doesn't work under 200 okay Nice range of yeah, I got it. I will stop here and wait for you guys to have a look. I'm going to have a look at this island as well. I think it's a bit of a resort type island. Probably explain why there's a C shape thing out there. I think I'm way too high here. I also don't think my my uh, flight seems to be doing too well because it doesn't look very rendered in. Yeah, it's getting there when I catch up. 35Ks versus a drop. 35K? 35,000. Okay, so you're up at 35,000 feet. Sorry, yeah, I'm landing. Oh man, this comes in nice and slow. What's my speed? 120? Oh, it's a really wide runway. Or at least a wide apron. I don't think all of it's uh, showing up. Surely it can't be that wide. Use my air brakes to uh, slow down here. I'm not so sure this airport's fully rendered. I'd say it's meant to be concrete like ahead there. You can see Zanny and his meteor coming in. Uh, Oslo Simula Beluga should get 50 plus frames on 1080p for Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 on that sort of rig. I mean, maybe I should do uh, 1080. Do like 4K though. Alright, fuel. We are uh, bingo fuel for the externals and we are on one third I'm actually going to top up here but it's going to be a running top up as in I'm going to keep the engines running now that should be close enough yep thank you all right canopy open yep thank you uh, I reckon we go back to a 50% on all, thank you. Alright. Cool, so let's go and see where everybody else is. Stu is in, oh Stu, did, mate, did you change to an F22? Because that's what it looks like. Camera, faster please. Yep. Yeah, that thing's pretty low. Alright. You play on uh, 1440? Yeah, I probably could still do 1440. I noticed in 1080 I get... Um, I get graining. I don't think this island is overly... Um, animated there's not much here there's a huge airport it's got to be military surely this has got some sort of military capability here and what is this is this whose plane is making buzzing noises what is this is this some sort of oh they're dredging is it 
That looks like some sort of boat or ferry. Maybe that's actually a dock. And the boats come up and they dock right there. Maybe? I don't know. Oh, I can definitely hear somebody's plane. I don't know if that was mine or not. Don't hear it inside. Alright, can we close the canopy please? Thank you. Love that van. And that is not the place to park, mate. Uh, yep. I'm F22. We'll probably play on that resolution. Yep, cool. Uh, Bryce is going to start uh, in an hour and a half. An hour and a half. And where are we? No problem. I'll be done in an, an hour. Which then gives me half an hour to explain to my wife why I'm not coming to bed at the same time as her. <laughs> oh man. If I drive, I'm so in trouble. But hey, my main monitor is full 144 hertz. Very cool. Mine is measly 25 hertz or 24 or uh, I think they can do maximum 60 but not on 4K. I don't know. I think it's meant to be 60 hertz. It's not. At least not on PC mode. Maybe on uh, TV mode. Because I'm using TVs. Um, and go play Minecraft. See ya. Thanks for hanging out, Beluga. I'm going to... I'll run back down this way and then take off. Um, continue and probably look at ETS. The force is with you, Brett. Good luck, mate. Not good. The only, the only benefit is that she's tired. Um, and she can go to sleep but she'll complain that I didn't come and hang out with her and look if I decide to hang out with her I'll just have to tell you guys no sorry um, but hey I don't have a truck or anything so I'd be renting trucks um, which might be good I can actually learn stuff is he in the UK though because I want to start off in the UK and if I stream I want to be in the UK for that and have a shop you know what? This is enough. Does everybody else have such a wide apron here? Do they do air shows or something here? I don't take that flaps, thank you. Where'd Parallel Planes go? Did he actually continue on to the final destination? Because we're after fool! Don't make me hurt you, fool! People won't know what that is. Sir Oinkalot! Hey Brett, can we fly along at all? Yes mate, West USA server. I am currently at OCS and we're on our way to fool. F-O-O-L. If you've got this plane, great. If you don't, that's fine. Whatever you choose, get into about a uh, 400 knot plus plane. Alright, heading is uh, 173. 173. Is that my autopilot going to work now? No. It's not, is it? Oh, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? No, it's not. Pin red! Pin what? Oh. Mr. T, you fool! <laughs> it's Mr. T, you fool! I hate flying! 
Not getting me up in that thing. <laughs> Great TV show. One of my faves. Alright, I'm going to move that music along. What else have we got? Do you know what? Let's go some Africa music. Picture that. What are you doing, about, fool? <laughs> I like Gary Coleman. I'm gonna go find. Ooh, it's over there somewhere. <laughs> Just some Aussie game that lurks. Welcome, mate. Welcome. I gotta get into ETS. I have no truck, no no garage, no anything. So if I get in, I'm I'm starting to scratch. So oink a lot, mate. Thank you for the sub. Welcome to the show. I'm looking for fool, not you. I'm looking for the airport called Foxtrot Oscar Oscar Lim. And it is right ahead there on the coastline, I'm guessing. I keep looking over this side because that's where my VFR is currently sitting. How are you guys going? Stu's racing into it. If I come along the coast here, Plunk it down. Gotta go. Sorry, family emergency problems won't make it. Uh, make Bryce okay, mate. Take care. Hope it's all well. Goes well, mate. Oh, he's a, he's a bit a bit loud. Yeah, we're going into Foxtrot Ox Oxalima. I'm white here, that's not good. Too low. So I'll turn that music down after I get on the ground. Oh, I got all red. I've come in too low. I didn't take long to get. Whoa, I'm really low. I almost take those poles out. Didn't do a lot of damage to this thing. Oh, God, too. <clears throat> All right, just put that music down for a little bit. All right, so Zanny is with me. Stu's already done the flyover. I lost parallel planes altogether. I think he, uh, he rocketed out of here. This is a decent airport. Look at that. Hello Africa, look at all your stuff here. Say so we're in a major city here. I gotta remember where we are. Uh, okay, so I think what I did was full is in 
uh, in between, I think it's the Republic of Congo and um, so we've gone down through Gambon, Republic of Congo, uh, and no, we're, I think Fool is actually in Angola, but then we go back over to the Democratic Republic of Congo. So it's basically like this whole bunch of everybody wanted a piece of coastline all at the same point. And the Democratic Republic of Congo. Okay, so this is the Congo. We're all fools for landing here. Big rooster dad, mate. I guess that's you. Oh, let me do a circle. I'm just going to go down the Congo River. So this one in front of me is actually the Congo River. Um, so it's a border of uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo. Not to be confused with the Republic of Congo, which is where we were before. But the Congo River uh, is kind of the borderline. So we are currently in the Democratic, and now we're just about to get into Angola. Again, because Angola was back over there where Fool was. So it's, it's weird. It's like Republic of Congo just was able to keep a tiny bit of the the um, coastline. All right, I'll do a, uh, do a swing around. That big rooster dad. Make it here. I bought, mate, I can't see you. Have you disappeared completely? Oh, Danny's trying to do the same thing as me. Very cool. I oh, was just going to loop around. There's no autopilot today. All right, so this is where we're we're flying here. So from OCS the island back over full. No, actually full is in part of Angola. So there's this little pocket is Angola. So it's almost like the Republic of Congo has annexed this tiny bit of grassland here, as you can see, where I'm about to fly over. So everything where they're building on one side is Angola. Here is the Republic of Congo. And then it's Angola again. Big rooster equals sir oink. <laughs> yeah, I kind of guess that. All right, let's make our way down to AWE as a second last point. So we are actually almost uh, done on this flight. Um, oh, hang on, I haven't got my thing open. What are we? One hour forty-seven in. Okay, cool. Let me know if that music's a little too loud too. So the Congo River, hey? Hey, I can see parallel planes now. Cool. All right, so I missed uh, Bryce, your comment. Uh, same though, I have only just got a truck. Uh, little tip, get a garage in Scandi or Eastern Europe, you get better job money. Oh, kind of wanted to start in the UK and, and drive right-hand drive trucks. But I guess what I can do is, I have more than one save, or I could, uh, I could potentially, um, get a right hand drive and a left hand drive and depending on what we're doing but yeah so what time does that start because I'm thinking I will probably be done in about 20 minutes so I only have the two 112 kilometers to ore doesn't take long when you go really fast lock in the altitude on today's flight oh well also can't uh, lock in wool we're going to have 2200 here can't lock in the uh, direction either 
The 173, I believe, is where we're meant to be. No, 181. Okay. Let's move that around. Thank you. Yeah, nice here. All right, big rooster, Dad. What are you flying? It starts at ten p.m. Okay, cool. More what? More what? What do you mean, more what? Are you talking about what I was mentioning about the more money for um, um Euro truck sim? Now, wouldn't it be cool if I could stream that straight after? <laughs> That'd make three streams in one day. Oh my god. Sucks to count single plane. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on. Um, so I'm doing 386, 387 knots here. Uh, big rooster dad, I don't know if you're playing. Uh, can go fast enough. We just passed the equator. Oh, did we? How can you tell? I know we're at Equatorial Guinea. Uh, do you have truck sim? Yeah, sorry, yeah. Um, I have American truck sim. I'm streaming tomorrow at 1 p.m. GMT plus 10. Uh, so that's Australian Eastern Coast time. Um, I have the... Uh, you can do 470. All right, I'm doing 424. I'll just back off so you can catch up there a bit. So I'll back off a fair, fair chunk. Um... So American Truck Sim, and uh, I'm going to play Euro Truck Sim, which I've never actually done, and I have no truck. Uh, oh, you got little nav maps. All oh, right, uh, I uninstalled that. Uh, I think it was chewing up the frames, but yeah, you could change a different um, VFR map. Maybe not the same one you're talking about. I'll wait up for Big Rooster Dad. Same here? Okay. Uh, my gas turbine reversed at equator. My gas turbine? Look at the Volvos. Yes, yeah, so I have um, had no trucks in ETS. Uh, because I, I only looked at it and went, oh, that's pretty cool, but I'm, I bought a package, ETS and ATS, back in 2018, I think. I think it's 2018, and I didn't actually get into it until 2020, because they were just so cheap. I went, yeah, all right. Euro trucks are nicer to drive, um, I hate to say. Right, okay. They're probably also, you don't get as many long nose things, so they're probably easy to see in front of you. Um, I haven't chosen what type of truck I'm going to go yet. We'll see what there is. But I am considering getting a right-hand drive. I wanted to kind of do a whole bunch of UK jobs and, and be able to drive on the right side of the road. Um, no, technically on the left, but on the right side of the vehicle. On the correct side. At least what I'm used to. So, um, yeah, look. Oh, I'm getting messages as well. Didn't realise I had that. Um, I will go and talk to my wife, Bryce, and I will um, kiss her goodnight, tuck her in, put the cats away, <laughs> come back out. Um, so, oink a lot. Short due to tax and road restrictions in Europe. 
S H I O R T. What is sh short? What do you mean? Hang on, explain that. So there's going to be road taxes, is there? So I'm expecting uh, that there'll be a whole bunch of taxes. It's kind of like when you go in and out of San Francisco in uh, American Truck Sim. You can't get into San Francisco without paying a toll. And the tolls are not cheap. Oh, parallel planes. Gotta remember you're not in that plane because that would not handle that way. Can't see what, uh, see you, what's your player name? Right, Tasmanite, sorry, you just went underneath me. So make sure you're on all players, not um, live players. I am on live weather, but uh, I'm not on live players which only shows up people who are using live weather only. I'm using adjustable weather if I want to. Um, you probably won't see me in this plane either unless you have it installed. So there's you about to hit the ground and he's in the trees. Oh, somebody clipped that. <laughs> Sorry, big rooster dad. I think I was uh, chatting to you and you were probably typing. Parallel planes. I think this is a dirt strip here, is it? Or it's a dirt strip. Are you kidding? Oh man. I reckon that's a challenge. That's a that's a uh that's a bumpy one. I reckon that's a uh, bush trip airport. Yeah, that's it there. Holy schmoly. Have we got anything on the ground? Surely that's not it. Yeah, I'm right over it now. It's not just a waypoint, is it? Maybe that's a waypoint. I do like how this handles. Uh, we'll ask those chaps in San Fran. <laughs> okay. We might need to, need to go this way. Okay, cool. I need to get that GPS back on, thank you. Zanny, are you making your way to the final? Food, food, here we come. Alright, one more flight in the Meteor and then we might look at another um, aircraft. I may actually take a um, P-40 back out. Um, now that I know that there's three different fuel tanks and you've got to sw um, switch it over between them, we can probably do a... Oh, this is not loaded in. Doesn't like 530 knots. Thanks a lot, internet. Good on you, Telstra. Good on you, Sabo. Play Microsoft. Anybody else I can think of. Oh, I didn't like that climb. Only just holding it. It's a beautiful plane. Alright. Yep. If you're enjoying it, consider subscribing. Uh, thank you very much for the 16 likes. That at least tells uh, YouTube that, hey, 16 people liked it. I don't know how many dislikes we got. That happens. I can't see that myself. Ten PM, hey Bryce. Ten PM. What are we now? Nine PM.
better go have a coffee with my wife or at least to sit down and see how she's going I wonder if she's watching if you are g'day <laughs> could have heard everything all right you guys are hugging the ground down there I reckon that looks like a bridge. I'm going to go down there. Oh, I love how this handles. I'm going to make my way over the food, but I'm going to tag this bridge area. I think it's a bridge. Oh, it's one of those uh, cuts between one section of water and another. No, that's not a bridge. Okay. The road there. That looks like a bridge. Oh, it's the same deal. Yeah. Alright, you guys getting dizzy? I wonder how much we can fly upside down in this. I don't think the fuel gets cut off. Which is good. But, uh, there's a way to finish it. Can we make it? Oh, I don't think I can land anyway this way. Just swap it over as I get there. Flying just like people do in other people's streams, right in front of their camera, hoping to get on stream while upside down. How about that? No, I don't usually do that. Look at that, eh? It flies beautifully. How fast are we going there? 570 knots. Holy schmoly. Alright, let's go find this final runway. But it should be right out on the peninsula here somewhere. Saw it and I thought, yep, that will be the nice place to stop. I think there's a ship out there. There you guys. Short round. Hey, short round. Coming in for the final. Everybody else is doing the same thing. Alright, is it a ship or is it uh, the harbour? No, I think it's just the harbour. Never done that. Flown upside down like that. That is a bit of fun. Keep red line it. No, because um, it's an FSX aircraft, and when you red line it, they um, it, it'll get back to that 1500 knot fault that there is. Looks like there's a uh, town here. That'd be my airport to the left. Oh, hang on, who's there? Oh, big rooster dad. Still upside down. Way to go, mate. Alright, I'm going to chuck a left. And bring it down. It's that runway 24, is it? Looks like about that. Gear down, please. One level of flaps as well. Doesn't look like anything much down this end of town. Short round says, hey Brett, I overslept. That's all right, mate. We're coming to the final. Uh, if you're into truck sim, I don't know whether I'll um, stream it. I think I'll just join Bryce's stream and have fun for a change. Kind of have been enjoying doing that. Uh, we have a good laugh bit of a muck around um, but I'll do some Euro truck uh, at 10 o'clock uh, Bryce if you're still watching mate do you want to put exclamation JS Aussie Gamer JS Aussie Gamer and give yourself a plug alright Luke you can give yourself a plug as well I noticed you were doing some other um, Call of Duty stream on Twitch. I saw my emails uh, popped up to say that uh, you were doing that the other day. And Oz, mate, 
thank you very much for hanging out as well if you're still here exclamation a u s i can actually type that whoa somebody's gonna full on turn there what we'll do is we'll pop in here take up the flaps as well thank you oh this is turning a bit fast brakes thank you oh we've got a bunch of fuelers here all right I'm actually going to turn around and park here. It's a good place to stop. All right, canopy open, thank you. Hello, I'm not clicked. JS Aussie Gamer, yep, cool. Double plug, I think it'll only uh, one time. We had, I saw someone go racing past there. Looks like I've got an F-15 buried in the ground here. Stu's on the end of the runway. If you go the other way, Zanny's coming in. And I'm not going to get there quick enough to see that one. Let's see if I can just jump in quicker. Well, there's getting it in just in time. Thank you. Can't see your landing gear. Bit of shame, isn't it? Very cool. I certainly have my uh, sound of my aircraft everywhere. What I might do. Let's get back in there and shut it down. Alright, we'll go continue, thank you. Alright, we'll put our uh, plug in and we will be flying from here tomorrow night, same time. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I was trying, uh, the zombie map on Cold War. Yeah, okay. So, Oink a lot. thank you for joining us. <clears throat> Where did you go? Did you continue flying past, did you? Yeah, sorry, you only jumped in right at the end there. Um, although, short round jumped in even later. Um, but that's fine. So, tomorrow at the same time, and I'm actually thinking, um, you'll join the convoy if that's cool. I'm sure Bryce would love the more people the better. Um, we might want to go to his Discord and see uh, what the server name is. And um, okay, he's giving me all the same tips. Okay. Volvo has the most moddable trucks. All right, well, I will give that a try. I don't think I'm going to um, <clears throat> stream. ETS, I will give it a uh, look and then probably will look at streaming it. Uh, haven't worked out when. I'm doing American Truck Sim on Truck and Shoes. Oh, you crashed again. Oh, that sucks. Um, that's why you disappeared. Uh, I will be doing um, Truck Sim, so Truck and Shoes Day. Maybe we could do Euro Truck Thursday. I don't know. Um, but I'll be doing another flight of this uh, 7 p.m. tomorrow night, same time. What is Bryce's link? It's the one above there. So it's actually, uh, sorry, just some Aussie gamer. His name is Bryce, but uh, it's just some Aussie gamer. So click on the link just up there above. Uh, did Oz Flight Sims come up? And Luke, did you put yours up there as well, mate? I can't see. It raced along. Not sure. Yep, okay, Oz is there, yep. All right, <clears throat> thank you everybody for flying with me. Uh, so basically it is a two hour flight, is what I'm trying to do here. If you're interested in getting this particular, um, oh, Garwin, I'm a bit late, so here. Yeah. Um, mate, uh, get the Meteor, it is linked in the description, it is free, you can download it, you can convert it. If you want the extra parts where the canopy can open, like I've put it, um hit me up and i'll send you the mdl file or maybe i'll put it on my discord uh i've also done some with uh, zanny's help there as zanny there um we fixed up some of the textures so that the there's no longer white around here and no longer white in amongst the um the trim so it's all colored now 
Uh, <coughs> hit me up on Discord if you want to get some help with that. Other than that, look, thank you very much for those who did come and fly. For those who watched, awesome. Have a great night. Go check out uh, Just Some Aussie Gamer. And if you're also interested in more flight sim, because obviously if you are watching this, either live now or later, and you made it this far, go check out Oz Flight Sim. I also fly with him as well, so, so do a bunch of others. Um, it's a good thing. David, Bob, Tango, yay. <laughs> You're coming in at the end, mate. Free plane. It's um, FSX conversion. All of the instructions are in my uh, uh, description. How to get it, how to convert it, and um, so how to add FSX aircraft. And come to my Discord if you're still having trouble and you want to uh, get stuff. Yeah, all right. See you later, Luke. I will see you uh, on trucking. If not, I will send you guys a message. Have a great night. Cheers.